Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lion Heart 84. Um, excuse any noises in the background. I've had to make this video now because I went out to the garden and my one and only Garretson persimmon has dropped. It's about the size of a walnut. Um, so I thought I'd better do a video on it while it's falling off because it has actually got some mould and damage on the end. I probably left it on the plant a day or two too long and I've noticed that some uh, little fruit flies have got into the bag as well and this has been probably knocked off the tree by the wind or rain. I'm still going to taste it, I'm just going to cut the top half of the persimmon off that's a nasty looking bit because I'm curious to see, it's 27th of October when I filmed this and it is the only fruit whereas the Morris Burton's got about 8 or 10 decent sized fruits on, this is very small and there's only the one but I just want to try it just to see um, if it's still astringent or now that it's sort of squashy ripe if it's edible. So I'll just cut the top off. So we've got down to the bit that's in good condition. Strange enough, it does look as if it's got a couple of tiny... Yeah, it has got a couple of tiny seeds in the bottom as far as I can see. May have been cross pollinated by another plant. So let's see if this is horrible or actually edible. Um, no astringency, almost no astringency. It's quite sweet. Got a sort of a um, spicy, spicy, almost pumpkin-y taste to it. I have heard that about American persimmons before. Um, not really had, a, although I had a couple of tiny Morris Burtons last year. That was in November, December, and they weren't had no sweetness to them. There is some sweetness in this. Um, let me just pause the video and get the uh, refractometer and check the bricks. A second. It's not particularly juicy, but I might be able to get a little bit of juice out. Uh, it's a bit jelly fried, which sometimes means that the bricks, the refractometer, doesn't do a very good job of reading the sugar content when it's uh, too solidified, but we'll see. Yeah, 16. High much more than I expected. So it has got sweetness in it. I think that's just the taste of a fruit that is squashy ripe. I think it just happens to have that sort of pumpkin-y type taste to it, but it is quite a high sugar rating, rating at 16, which is satisfying at the end of October. So that was an American persimmon Garretson. First time I've ever tried one. Interesting unusual flavour. I can imagine people who like that sort of like vegetably type fruit flavour would probably really enjoy that. And I'll probably eat myself a pineapple guava in a minute as well. Anyway thanks for watching that video that was the one and only Garretson fruit that's fallen to try but we should have a good taste of the Morris Burton's next month. Thanks for watching, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share the video if you think anyone's interested and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out catch up with you all soon rest out for now